Okay, welcome back. What I want to look at is cable calculations, okay? And just come out a little bit. How to determine design current for simple single phase final circuits, okay? Now here we're looking at the design procedure. Determine the design current, IB, select the rating of the protection, IN, select relevant correction factors, divide in by the relevant correction factors to give IT. Now IT means simply means current total or total current. Okay. Choose a cable size to suit IT. Check for voltage drop. Now remember that in regards to designing your cable to carry your current, it must be the cable must be able to handle what the current is carrying at a given point, okay? So there are certain factors which determine the actual size of the cable to carry that given current, okay? So if it, your cable is carrying 5 amps or 30 amps, then it will be, there will be an applicable factor in regards to those cables, okay? Check for shock risk. Check for internal or I should say thermal constraints. Now again here I'm gonna let you read this for yourselves because you will need to write these out. Do not just you take it as read from the screen. You need to write these out so that you make the information you want, okay? Again here you don't need me doing any talking again. It's simply looking at for a lighting point assuming 100 watts. Now, for effective lighting, we always assume 100 watts. Now, I know that we're dealing these days with uh, LED lighting, which can just operate at 5 watts and give out a, tr a tremendous amount of lumens. But we still retain 100 watts for installation purposes. Okay? But again, refer to any diagrams or graphical illustrations that might be needed or which has been given to specify. So always comply with what has been requested. Okay, again, you can read this for yourselves. Don't need me to be reading this out to you. Okay. Now here, we have the design, we're looking at the design current. Okay, and here we're calculation for IB, and you can see that here we have IB equals P over V. P is the power, V is voltage. Okay, and down here we have IB equals P over the square root of three times V. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe square root of So what you need to look at is finding the square root of 3. Now, just bear me for a second to be sure, remind myself what square root of 3 is. Okay. Sorry about that. Do forgive me for waddling about the place. Okay. But my calculator is saying saying square root of three is one point seven three two. But I will check that again to be sure. But don't take my word for it. Please check it for yourselves, okay? Times the voltage.
Now here you look at normal setting of protection. Now remember, the protection is there to protect the cables from overheating. Okay? And again, look in the correct tables for IE regs. Again, here, you don't need me to be doing a lot of talking, but you can read this for yourselves and extract the information. Now remember where cables are going to be run. The place that the cable is run can have a, a temperature increase in, it, in its own right. So be aware of that. Make sure that it is run in a place where it meets the specification of any temperature change. Okay, again here, read this for yourselves. Don't need me to be doing any t reading or talking for you here, okay? Now again, remember, thermal insulation is where insulation in the wall to keep, to keep the heat inside the house. So these days we have to take that into account. And what you have to do is that you find that there's a factor given for this, for various types of, th of thermal insulations, okay? current carrying capacity okay again once you have these factors and you'll find them in your on-site guide you'll find them in the IE regs use them okay and here is an example it has been worked out for you again make sure that you have done the calculation and it tallies with what the answer that's been given okay Bear with me for a second, I'm just trying to excuse my, my wiggling about the place here. I'm just trying to just make, check something myself. Okay, and you see that it does come up to 64 amps. Now again, work the examples out, write them out. Do not try to do them on screen. Get some pen and paper, old-fashioned paper, old-fashioned pen, okay? And again, here you have the voltage drop formula. It's applicable every time. It does not change, okay? <coughs> Now consider short risk, and it's telling you here the L4 loop impedance should not exceed the values given in part 4 but of the IE regs. Now be aware that that may have changed, even though it should still be part 4 of the IE regs. Remember that our new reg regulations came out in 2019 from the 1st of January. So look those up, stay up to date. Okay, thank you. Okay, I hope you found this information useful. Have a good day.